repairing and sealing horizontal and vertical expansion joints. Concrete expansion joints are cuts in concrete slabs that go completely through the slab to the base material. Expansion joints can also be the joints between walls and concrete slabs. The purpose of an expansion joint is to allow the concrete slab to expand and contract with temperature changes without cracking the concrete. Expansion joints must be sealed with a flexible sealant or an expansion joint strip to prevent water from penetrating the joint and deteriorating the subbase. As with any concrete repair, proper attention to joint preparation is essential to achieving a successful result. Expansion joints should be swept out to ensure that any pebbles, dirt, or loose debris are removed. If oil or grease are present, quickrete concrete and asphalt cleaner should be used so that a strong bond can be made between the sealant and the edges of the joint. Before applying a sealant, the joint must be completely dry. The best option for sealing horizontal expansion joints is quickrete self-leveling polyurethane sealant. Self-leveling polyurethane is a highly fluid, flexible sealant that will stretch up to 800% without failing. This allows for ground movement and expansion and contraction from temperature change. For joints over one quarter inch, backer rod, which is a foam rope, should be placed in the expansion joint before applying the sealant. The backer rod should be pressed into the joint, allowing a sealant depth of between one eighth inch and one half inch. Polyurethane sealants work best when they are bonded only to the inside edges of the crack or joint. Always wear eye protection and waterproof gloves when working with polyurethane sealants and work in a well-ventilated area. To apply self-leveling polyurethane sealant, first cut the tip of the nozzle at an angle with a utility knife matching the width of the joint. Puncture the seal inside the applicator tip and insert the tube into a standard caulk gun. Move the nozzle slowly along the length of the joint, allowing the sealant to settle. Self-leveling sealant is highly fluid and may require an additional application. This should be done immediately so that the two applications will mend into each other. No additional tooling is necessary. Quickrete self-leveling polyurethane sealant will be tack-free in two hours and will dry to a smooth gray finish. Excess sealant should be cleaned up immediately with a commercial solvent or citrus-based cleaner. Polyurethane sealants are temperature sensitive and should not be used when temperatures are below 50 degrees. For vertical expansion joints in concrete, masonry, or stucco walls, the best option for joints over one quarter inch wide is Quickrete non-sag polyurethane sealant. Non-sag polyurethane sealant is a multi-purpose, permanently flexible sealant that seals and waterproofs vertical joints. For joints over one half inch, backer rod should be placed in the joint before applying the sealant. The backer rod should be pressed into the joint, allowing a sealant depth of between one eighth inch and one half inch. To apply non-sag polyurethane sealant, first cut the tip of the nozzle at an angle with a utility knife matching the width of the crack and insert the tube into a standard caulk gun. Move the nozzle slowly along the length of the joint, pressing the sealant into the joint. The tip of the nozzle can be used to smooth the sealant. Quickrete non-sag polyurethane sealant will be tack-free in about two hours and will dry to a smooth gray finish. Excess sealant should be cleaned up immediately with a commercial solvent or a citrus-based cleaner. Polyurethane sealants are temperature sensitive and should not be used when temperatures are below 50 degrees. 